Most writers don't struggle with writing characters or plot. Most of us struggle with finding the time to write, the motivation to sit down, and to do it consistently every single day. Salam friends, my name is Mohammed, and I'm a writer. And in this channel, we demystify the writing process and explore the tools and habits that make writing possible. And in this video, we will explore the five productivity books, how-to books that are helpful for writers. Book number one, The Atomic Habit by James Clear. There is no one that I know who have read this book that doesn't swear by it. It is the book that turned our everyday chores, our everyday actions into digestible, breakable habits that we can analyze and consistently improve. What Atomic Habit also does is that it emphasizes on getting the process right and not the result. So sitting down every day, finding the time that is right for you to write, finding the tools that allows you for you to write, as opposed to setting up all these frictions, whether it is you writing in the midday after uh, having lunch and you struggle with food coma, or you keep it all the way until the end of the day if you are a morning person and you're struggling with falling asleep. It is the manual for you to turn the writing process into an everyday habit. And once you have the habit of writing down, then you have to read Deep Work by Cal Newport. This is the book that talks about how we can overcome the endless distractions of the modern age and focus on one task at a time. How do we block the time of the writing session and make sure that we're not distracted by our social media, by our phones, by our laptops and what's in them, and just focus on the tasks that we have on hand. And it also talks about how much stamina do you have for an actual writing session? Can you write for three hours straight and how to build that over time? Book number three is The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. I think I've listened and read this book more than five times. It is the book about this umbrella term resistance that Stephen Pressfield used that he even argues that is the source of all evil. If you have to write and you procrastinate, that's resistance taking you away from your writing. If you want to write but you think you have a writer's block, then that's resistance trying to take you away from your calling. If you sit to write and your phone rings, that's then also resistance is trying to conspire against you accomplishing what you are called to do. This is a must read for writers because Stephen Pressfield not only covers the practical tips to overcome self-doubt, procrastination, and the rest of the voices that comes between the writer and their writing, but also talks about his journey as a writer and how he overcame the challenges that he faced. Book number four is Show You Work by Austin Kleon. There is no shorter book that's a self-help book and a how-to book or productivity book that I would recommend more than this one. It's short, it's full of artwork, and it's easy to read. You literally can read it in one sitting. And what it argues is that, yes, writing is important and you should figure out the habits and the schedule that fits for you, but if you do not show it to people, you will not improve. You have to sort of, in a sense, practice out loud or practice on the stage so that you can improve your writing because there are people out there that are yearning for the stories you are writing so if you are ready to show your work whether it's stories or tweets or blogs or articles then Austin Kleon's book show your work is the place where you want to start book number five and this is less of a productivity book and more of a craft but because it has so much about life advice i think is befitting for me to include it here and it's bird by bird by anne lamont this is literally the book that i always recommend aspiring writers to read when they first first start writing i was at an event last week and someone told me about the stories that they were writing and the struggles that they were facing and some days they feel motivated other days they they don't and I literally told him you have to read bird by bird because Anne Lamont doesn't only cover the writing process and what is it like and how to write dialogue plot or characters but it also gives life advice and how to be a writer how to treat this profession or this craft as a lifelong journey so these are the five books that I recommend all writers to read and you don't have to read them in order but pick the ones that speak to you the most speak to your current state of mind and I hope it helps you with your writing journey in the meantime, thank you for watching and keep writing.